Hey, it's Mary Kay, and welcome to day 20 of the EFFA Challenge, and you know it's my favorite day because it's range and mobility work. And today, we're going to work on loosening our back. We're going to do one move that works mostly on the lower back and your hip flexors. A lot of us have desk jobs and we're seated a lot, so we tend to get low back problems. So I'm going to do something to help open the hips so you can get a little bit more mobility. And then I have three moves that are going to work primarily on focusing on your mid and upper back and your neck to loosen everything and open it up so that we have better posture and that we pull our shoulders down and back more. We're not so hunched over and tight and getting all that tension in the neck. So let's get started. A lot of the moves, or all of the moves, actually involve slides. If you don't have slides, don't worry about it. If you're doing it on hardwood floor and you just have a mat under you, get a paper plate or get a towel. They work just as well as this, or you could technically do the move without a slide. The slide allows you just to get deeper into the movement as I'm doing it and just really stretch out a little bit better, but again, it's not required, and these are on Amazon if you want them, and I'll put a link in the comments. So for the first move, we're going to be in a tabletop. I have one slide under my right leg because that's the one I'm starting with. So tabletop, arms are directly under your shoulders, knees are directly under our hips, and I'm going to take one leg out and I'm going to stretch into the lunge. I'm pushing my hips back and really sinking into that hip motion. And I'm just holding it for a second so I can feel the stretch. And I'm going to bring it back and then I'm going to take this leg forward and I'm going to come forward into a hip flexor stretch and then I'm gonna go back into position and I'm gonna do it again. And that's just on the one leg and I do one leg for about a minute and then I'd switch and then I do the other leg. And again, start in tabletop, bring the leg out, lean back into that stretch, slip back into tabletop and then go into a hip flexor stretch. So one minute each side. The next move, again in tabletop, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one slide under one hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread the needle. So I'm gonna take this arm and I'm gonna scoop it under my other hand and I'm really gonna stretch in the other direction. And essentially this shoulder is touching the floor as I'm pushing away and trying to put my hand toward the wall. And oh my God, that's such a good stretch in the, all through the section of your back. And then when I come back to tabletop, I'm gonna sit back on my heels and I'm gonna take this hand that was on the slide and I'm going to stretch it back. And I'm just bringing the arm back and coming back forward and then do it again. Again, thread the needle, hold it so you feel that good stretch, come back to tabletop, sit back on your heels, bring the arm up and back. And you kind of follow your eyes with your hand and come back. And then again, I do the other side so that I switch. I thread the needle on this side come back up, sit back on my heels, and extend the arm, and come back, and you can really feel that stretch in your mid-back when you do it. The next move I wanna do, I'm not gonna use a slide for, again, tabletop. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one arm, put it by your head, and you're gonna extend the elbow under the arm, and then try to stretch back up for range of motion. And just keep doing it, like hold it a little bit, get the squeeze, and then try to lift as far as you can. Now, as you start, if you're really tight, you may not be able to get as high as I can, but if you keep practicing, you'll get more and more range of motion. And then again, the other side, bring it to your head, scoop it under, and then stretch it back up. And then the last move I wanna do, just bring one leg forward, like you were doing, about to do a hip flexor. So you're at a 90 degree angle, put your arms out in front. I'm gonna take this hand, opposite of the leg that you have extended forward. You're just gonna brush it across your body and get to like 180 degrees and then keep it close to your body, come back forward. And then you're gonna again, extend the opposite arm and stretch back and come back forward. And so keep doing this. It feels so good for a minute on each side. And then I'd switch legs. Again, bring your arm forward, bring it across the body, stretch back. Again, keep close to the body and then extend and come back. It's a great exercise to do if you're feeling tight. It's great before bed, loosen you up. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. See you tomorrow.